So the, the project we're working on at the moment is for Warwickshire Wildlife Trust and Coventry City Council. We're working in an urban park, Lakeview Park in, in Coventry, and increasing the, the biodiversity in the park, which has been identified as one of the key features and key attributes to the, to the area. A lot of people come here to, to walk, a lot of dog walkers, a lot of children during the, the summer holidays, school holidays. Uh, and wildlife was, was, was one of the key features, the key benefits to, to the park, to the local area. One thing it, the park lacked was, was open still waters and so we're, we're creating a series of pools, series of ponds uh, that'll, be, that'll be really good for, especially for amphibians and a whole host of, of wildlife, dragonflies, birds, etc. The, the site is, a, is an urban park in, in Coventry uh, that has a, has a river running through the middle and it's subject to part of the flood zone so in times of heavy rain this, this a good percentage of the park will will flood um, so it's, it's important flood protection area for, for the city of Coventry um, what it lacks is some of the some of the open water features that that we're looking to enhance along with with Warwickshire Wildlife Trust uh, and Coventry City Council who, who run the park we're putting in five ponds uh, in an area, a low-lying area, which occasionally will flood anyway, so that, that's very useful in terms of heavy rainfall. That, that will top up the ponds. We won't need any water source other than, other than the rain and the, and the, and the river when it, when it floods over will, will help top up the ponds. Identified an area of park where it's not used by much else in terms of the walkers and the people who utilize the park for, for sports and picnics during the summer it's quite a damp area so it tends to be any picnickers tend to avoid it because of, because it's very damp underfoot which makes it great for, for ponds because as soon as we dig a pond it's, it's going to fill with water within a few weeks one of the beauties of, of digging ponds is that that insects and invertebrates find it almost surprisingly quickly so within it within a day or two it can start getting the, the first diving beetles uh, in the summer it would be visited by dragonflies and damselflies with sometimes while you're still digging them um, whereas things like woodlands will take 20 years 30 years before you reach maturity with ponds within six months to 12 months you can have a mature looking pond it looks like it's been there for, for generations Hopefully in a year's time there'll be a series series of pools here um, will have been fenced off and planted up by, by the Wild, Wildlife Trust uh, who will be working here with volunteers over, over the coming few months once the ponds are established to, to, to get them planted up and to get their vegetation growing. Hopefully then it'll become a bit of a bit of a magnet for anyone looking for the, the, the key species of wildlife that, that we get in the park. Um, frogs and toads will use the ponds for, for, for breeding so there'll be tadpoles within the pond. Hopefully on a day a bit warmer than today there'll be damselflies and dragonflies utilising the ponds, egg laying. Uh, the, there'll probably be six or seven different species of, of dragonflies that, that will use the ponds quite readily. It, it's it's fairly common. The, the very much working with the with the wildlife trust and, and the local council. Um, so the wildlife trust, trusts are very good at formulating ideas and plans for, for, for habitat improvement, especially where people and wildlife can mix, and especially here where we've got an urban park. Um, mostly the the other park is is tightly mown grass, which is great for 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 sports and for, for picnics perhaps not so good for, for wildlife so we need to just some of the areas that, that, the, that the council are, are happy have, can, and can designate as being a, a wildlife priority area within the park uh, and that can just introduce a different species different element to, to the park that, that's currently missing this is this is very typical of, of the type of projects we do sort of pond creation often on development sites where there's there's mitigation work but often in conjunction with with the wildlife trusts we work with a number of wildlife trusts over the years uh, where there's purely the the essence is, is for habitat creation